talking about behaviour in a specific context there, but more generally, can you talk about behaviour and, if you like, discipline in schools and how, how this has changed over the last 40 years or so? There still is discipline in schools, of course there has to be. Um, in some cases you don't have the same support from, from parents that you... When I was a child, you know, if you misbehaved at school, your parents knew about it before you got home and you'd be punished again, but that's not always the case nowadays. You know, parents often object to disciplining their children. Um, and can't quite, because we have a class of children, so we see all, all levels of behaviour, they're only dealing with one child or two ch children, and, and perhaps what to them is bad behaviour is quite different from what we feel is bad <laughs> behaviour. Um, and also I think children are um, entertained quite a lot, and so it's quite difficult to listen to an adult trying to teach you something and even harder to have a go yourself <laughs> so there, there aren't huge discipline problems respect really. isn't automatic you have to earn it mm. and so in a secondary school some teachers will have no <coughs> discipline problems at all and others will have grave discipline problems, even with classes where there's no particular reason why they should be so. You have to learn your craft. And until you learn to stay on the bicycle upright, <laughs> um, it, it's, it's, and the longer you are in a school, the more likely you are to earn that respect because you get locally known. But since the career structure for secondary teachers is to move on at regular intervals, is that the same in primary? Um, possibly. Um, yes. It depends. I mean, uh, the, there's deputy head and head, and, yeah. and really yeah. that's the, the, the ladder. Um, I never wanted to be a head because I like being in the classroom. Mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. There isn't a lot of movement of staff within the school. A lot of us have been here a while now. <laughs> Which shows what a lovely school it is. Well, yes. <laughs> we, we were talk, talking about parents. Do you want to say something about the involvement of parents in this, with, with the school and in the school? Yeah, I think parents are very welcomed and, you know, keen to be involved. There's a, a thriving school association, Harwell School Association. Um, I think they sometimes struggle to get people, you, you always get the people who will and the people who, who won't. Um, parents do play a, a vital part, really. Um, they come in and, and read, they help transport children for outings and you know, sports days and things like that. So yes, there's, there's, there's always been a, a, a history of parental involvement and um, support from parents. But there are, at the same time, there's always a few who are very critical. <laughs> yes. Same experience, Di? Yes, yes. Um, we would run, and still now we run a, a I organise a trip to the garden centre to go on the train, um, the little mo little train up at the garden centre, and uh, you know, um, the Sarah would just send out a letter saying that we're going to go and we need transport, and we are always inundated with mums that will help. Um, it's so difficult for mums that go to work. You know, they I think they would like to be involved, but they can't. But we have a lot of mums that aren't at work, thank goodness. So, and they will come in for an afternoon and do cooking or some craft or, you know. And they like to be involved. And they like, their children like their mums to come in, <laughs> which is nice. Right. At yeah. secondary level, Jane, degree well, of... It's, it's interesting, actually. One of the things we have to sometimes explain to parents is that because a secondary school is large with a lot of staff mm -hmm. and a, you can't just turn up at the door mm -hmm. and be sure you're going to see 
who you want to see because they might be in a meeting off the site um, somewhere else so, so we have to explain that but I think as children grow older the same phenomenon exerts itself some parents are thoroughly supportive and will be there when you want help and others turn up to the parents evenings to get a sort of check on how their child is doing and that's all and the ones who really worry you are the ones who don't even turn up to parents mm -hmm. evenings and you try very hard to get hold of those but secondary schools have been encouraged a lot in the last 20 years to keep contact with their parents more regularly i mean dgs sends out newsletters and weekly mm -hmm. bulletins and whatever and the internet helps as well because you can log on to a site uh, find the name find the email address which is very helpful so i think parents are being encouraged but of course the parents are busy and working mm. as well so it's it's quite difficult mm.